Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has shamelessly exploited the memory of a toddler who tragically died of flu complications as he rolled up his sleeves to receive his umpteenth COVID booster and flu shot at the same time without actually showing whether or not he received the vaccines he's promoting. We were shocked because uh, he had been vaccinated and it was so late in the season. Like you don't think in May you still have to worry about the flu. The family has now launched a campaign encouraging people to get the flu shot. Even though it did not work for them, they feel if more people were vaccinated, Jude may not have gotten sick. While his shot failed him, if more people around him had, had their shots, then it may have been more effective in their bodies. Remember Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's strategic campaign during the 2021 snap election where he exploited Canadians' personal medical decisions, creating a divisive wedge issue between those who exercised their autonomy and those who succumbed to powerful mind control tactics to nudge along their compliance? The best way to get through this pandemic is for everyone to get fully vaccinated. That's why every time I'm at a microphone uh, during this campaign and beyond, I will continue to tell people to go get vaccinated if you haven't already. It is the way we get through this. And quite frankly, all political leaders should be exactly as unequivocal about it. Well, he's back at his politically motivated moral posturing tactics as booster uptake in the country plummets with a post on X wherein the prime minister claims to have received two shots at once, although you don't actually see him receiving either. The former drama teacher sits pretty for the camera and states, got my COVID-19 booster and flu shot this morning. You should get yours too. To find out why, how, and where you can get your shots, click here. And then he uses the hashtag for Jude for everyone, which we will circle back to in a minute. See, the supposedly honorable prime minister is clad in a shirt that says, vaccines cause adults, which is a play on the phrase from vaccines cause autism, because we don't know exactly what causes autism. It could be anything at all, but we know for sure that it is absolutely, without a doubt, not vaccines. It alludes to the fact that if you don't vaccinate your children with the routine scheduled childhood vaccines, they will succumb to a slow and painful vaccine preventable death. That is up for debate, of course, if you ask research scientist Dr. Brian Hooker, who worked alongside the CDC's whistleblower Dr. William Thompson, who had access to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, that's the CDC, their private database called the Vaccine Safety Data Link, which holds the vaccine records of over 10 million Americans. Nonetheless, how would COVID-19 vaccine injured Canadians feel seeing this dehumanizing post by our prime minister? The same Canadians who cannot even get their injury documented or adequately diagnosed. And what about that hashtag for Jude for everyone? Well, it's a hashtag used by an X account for Jude for everyone, highlighting the story of Jude as advocated for and managed by his mother, Jill Primoli. She's a Mississauga based photographer, and now school board trustee who promotes vaccines through public health advocacy and has political aspirations with the liberals. She seized an opportunity to feature her children in an emotionally evocative video for Trudeau's 2019 virtue signaling climate alarmism campaign here. Check it out. The conservatives want you to think this election is about me. I think it's about you. This is your country and your choice. Build on a serious climate plan? or leave the problem to us. All right, but back to this hashtag. See, it came about after the profoundly devastating and heart-wrenching loss of Pramoli's two-year-old son, Jude, who tragically passed away in 2016 following complications of influenza B, the flu, as determined by a pathologist. Now, I send my deepest sympathies and condolences to anyone who has lost a child, but the subsequent advocacy work by Pramoli leaves more questions than answers once you begin to dig beneath the surface. You see, news articles at that time in 2016 clearly state that Jude was vaccinated against the flu, and his mother asserts that he only became infected with the virus after his fully vaccinated school-attending sibling 
brought the flu home. He was a happy, healthy, joyful little boy. On the morning of May 6, he had a low-grade fever, but otherwise seemed fine when his mother, Jill, put him and his twin brother down for a nap. She went to get him from his nap. He would not wake up. Uh, I went in and Thomas jumped up right away and Jude didn't. And very quickly I could see that something had gone wrong. She and her neighbors tried performing CPR, but the two-year-old was pronounced dead in the hospital an hour later. In August, almost four months after his death, they finally got answers about what happened. The coroner says Jude died of influenza B, a strain of the flu. His sister had the flu right before he passed away. Look at this CBC News article from back then. Jude McGee died from influenza B last May after getting his flu shot a few months earlier. Doctors confirmed that Jude had died from a strain of influenza B. The news shocked and confused Pramoli, especially because Jude had the flu shot the previous December. That particular flu shot covered four strains of influenza, including the strain Jude contracted. So now Pomoli advocates for everyone to receive the flu shot, even though it didn't do anything to prevent her son's tragic passing or the transmission to him. And Trudeau shamelessly exploits his memory as a prop in his cringeworthy vaccine promotional video. He spreads further misinformation by encouraging others to get their flu shots and their COVID-19 injections at the same time, as though it's safe, even though it directly contradicts the manufacturer's own safety data. Both Pfizer and Moderna's package inserts clearly state that this has never been established as safe. Here's Pfizer's latest formulation product monograph. The community Omicron specific XBB 1.5 states, no interaction studies have been performed. There is no information on the co-administration of community Omicron XBB 1.5 with other vaccines. It's very clear. Moderna Spikevax XBB 1.5 says similar. No interaction studies have been performed. None. Not at all. I've covered this in depth in recent months, and what I found was that Canada's National Advisory Committee on Immunization, that's NACI, based the concurrent administration recommendation off of, and I quote, operational and logistical reasons, end quote, because, quote, concurrent administration of any dose of a COVID-19 vaccine with other vaccines has the potential to increase program efficiency and may also increase vaccine coverage, end quote. Now, the exploitative actions of Trudeau, who never misses a beat for a good photo op, reveals a concerning pattern of capitalizing on sensitive situations to gain political traction. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini. The safety and efficacy of COVID-19 injections remains ongoing in phase two slash three clinical trials, which is why we're sending an email to Minister Mark Holland to revoke market authorization for such an unknown and potentially dangerous and risky shot. That can be found at nomoreshots.ca. There you can sign our petition, stay up to date with our reporting, and support this kind of independent journalism if you're able to at nomoreshots.ca.